Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 19th. We're just going to see what comes up. Oh, well, right off the bat, we have somebody that is needing to see something from a new perspective. Resisting change. Hung up. Hung up on proving a point. Hung up on proving themselves for some reason. Looks as though this person is going through a period of enlightenment, though. They are receiving enlightenment. This is, there's, there's, it's a very emotional, intense time. It definitely is. Somebody may feel like they're being attacked misjudged or overly criticized. Somebody may be, may be in, in defense mode trying to defend. It's like they're trying to defend when they maybe they should give up. It's like they're trying to prove a point, and maybe it's time to give up. What is there to prove? It's like somebody is trying to prove a point, and it's time to give up. You know, this is there's an opportunity to start over, to start fresh, to leave all the leave everything behind and go down a new path. But we have somebody here that is like. I don't know, wanting to fight for some reason? Because they, they, have a, they have a point to prove. Now, this is somebody who... I mean, the Page of Cups reverse. I don't know if this is the child, but it could be. But that's a lack of emotion. And this is unwilling to apologize... It's like we got somebody here that is unwilling to own up to their mistakes. I'd rather just hang on because of pride or something. Somebody's trying to hang on to something. Now the fool, this is a this is starting over. This is an exciting opportunity. This really is. It's an un exciting opportunity you, to opportunity to leave everything behind and start fresh. This is a new beginning, but you gotta you gotta stop trying to prove yourself. Somebody's trying to prove themselves and, and it's it just needs to stop. It does, it does need to stop. We, this person we, very indecisive somebody is it's like they don't they really want to prove themselves because they have some sort of something to prove but it's like they're thinking really thinking about you know where they could go if they let this baggage go but it will be, it's like, in order to do that, you got to be willing. You've got to be willing to start over from scratch. And so we have somebody here that is very, it's almost like they're confused. Somebody is really emotionally unavailable. Aha, somebody could be crying over a mother. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is a mother. Now, this, this Queen of Pentacles is very stubborn. Stubborn, suspicious, jealous. Now, this is a motherly figure who may not be stable. Hmm. Now, this is any sign. It, this, is, this is a motherly figure who is not stable. She's, she's insecure. 
So we have somebody here that is insecure and they may be using a child to prove a point. Using a child to prove a point. Huh. Definitely we have somebody here that is it's almost like nasty. We, you know, this person is, is very childish, very immature. Just wants to hold somebody back. This is holding. And this is like, this is somebody that is very negative. Probably it could be angry with the world, angry with their own childhood. This is the only way that they can have control. We definitely have somebody who are here who is very childish and immature. This is like somebody that is miserable and misery loves company, right? So they're hanging on to something. Somebody may be receiving some unwelcome news with these two cards. Whew. Could be dealing with a king of pentacles. We definitely have an earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is definitely some... We could have a mother and a father that are really, really, really unstable. And, they're, they're, and they've got a couple of children and they're holding... Oh my friggin' God. We definitely have somebody here, some, a couple. We have a couple. This is a husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, mother and father, or, or two partners. We have a couple. We have two people here. And it's like we have two children. Now, it doesn't have to be two children, but it certainly, it certainly could be. Okay. Oh, my God. So... We got a problem here. We definitely do have a problem here. It's like these people are both stubborn. They don't want to let go. They don't, it's not about love for these two people. No way. No way. It's about proving a point. Both of these people have a really big ego. This couple are working together. They're working together to do something. What are they working together to do? What are they working together to do? And it doesn't have to be earth signs. This is energies. We all have earth signs in our chart. We all have everybody in our chart. Every sign is in our chart. We have two very stubborn individuals who have a point to prove. They're trying to prove a point to something. Somebody. They're definitely not stable. They're not secure. They're jealous. What do we need to know about these two people? Tell me something about these two people. They're not in a happy relationship, but they may be pretending they are. There's no relationship growth. It's not even a real relationship. But they they're trying to prove something. They're hanging on to something. I don't know what. What are they hanging? Children. Something to do with children. False love? False romance? It's not love. The King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse, these two people aren't, it's not about a relationship. It's about holding on, stubbornness, it's ego, it's about money, it's about proving themselves it's seriously. It's sure as hell not love. It ain't. It's not even meant to be. Somebody's been made some poor decisions here. It's a false contract. We have two people working together. They're, it's like, I don't know what the hell they are trying to prove. They're trying to bring another person down. Oh, 
abusive. Wait, oh my God. Cold. Liars. We do. We have somebody here that are just cold hearted liars. <laughs> bullies. We have a couple of bullies. Son of a bitch. Abusive, uncaring, just doesn't care. We have a couple that don't care who they hurt. <sighs> Nine of Pentacles, but this is somebody taking action. This is somebody who is secure, solid, stable. Very self-sufficient, has worked really, really, really hard to obtain security. This this like this is this is like the end of the storm for somebody. Somebody may be getting out of a situation where they were bullied by a couple, two people at least. These people are in some sort of false karmic contract. There may be a couple of children here. This person is very self-sufficient, independent, has everything they need to survive, and is doing it quite well. But this person is so cold and uncaring, who one of these people, or both, is so cold and uncaring that they just don't, they don't care as long as they prove their point, right? They got to prove their point. They'll make any sacrifice that they have to make to get their point across. To prove that they are right. And it doesn't matter who they hurt in the process. Even if it is a child. Or children. When you get the hey man, it's time to let go. It is time to let go. But somebody is resisting it. Somebody is resisting the fact, the fact that it's time to let go. They're really, really stuck. Refusing to see a new perspective. Refusing. This person is abundant. Very abundant. This couple is not. Or this person could be one person. God is in charge. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is a higher power involved here. There absolutely is. There is a higher power involved. Don't give up faith. Just believe. Just believe. And I know that there's a lot of people that don't want to hear this because they don't believe. And if you don't believe, and I'm not a preacher, but if you don't believe and your life is going to shit, well, <laughs> whatever, whatever, I believe. This is believe. Believe. There is a higher authority involved. This is a card of investment. Somebody is thinking. They're thinking about relocating or they probably will be lo relocating. Because there's no more growth here. This season is over. It's time to go someplace else. Definitely has something to do with children. Somebody may be resisting change because they're married. 
They're married to this person, and they're afraid of the legal issues. Somebody is clinging to the memories, they're clinging to the past, but the past is not harmonious. It's time to go someplace else. That's the meaning of this card. You'd be better off on your own. This is an independent person who can do it, has the skills, has the knowledge, has the get up and go, knows, knows that they can take care of themselves and does take care of themselves. So we have a very independent person who is doing very, very well. It looks like this person is is thinking about something in the past. Maybe wanting a reconciliation. I don't know. Somebody maybe wanting to reconcile with this person. This is a false contract. Somebody could be ending a contract and then getting a divorce, filing for divorce, something like that. So there could be some upcoming legal proceedings. This could be a judge. This is the highest authority. This person sees all. Knows all. It's time to start over. It's time to leave that all behind. We're going to stop this fight. Somebody hasn't been abused, neglected, and bullied by another person that was trying to prove a point or people. This is victory after sorrow. Somebody is going to have a victory. They are going to be recognized for their hard work and effort. It's like there's going to be recognition. It is. And I, there is. There is. This is recognition for their hard work. For not, for hanging on. So for, for This is going a different work. The, a different way because I just happened to put this together. This for somebody for, for because we have somebody here that has worked really 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 hard uh, at obtaining at obtaining success on their own. They are going to receive a victory. I understand that this has been hard because to get to this victory, you have to go through a storm. You have to go through uh, that war zone. To get the victory. But this is victory after sorrow. By, by, by doing it. You will receive a victory. By, by persevering. You will receive a victory. This is perseverance as well. So I think that we have somebody here. That is going to receive some sort of victory. For persevering. But this is, this is feeling like you are being attacked. The seven of wands reversed. Maybe you just need to surrender. Surrender to the higher power. Believe. Have faith. This is replace fear with faith as well. This is faith. So have faith. Have faith. Have faith that your hard work is going to pay off. Anyway, I don't know whose message that is for. It's probably for me. Anyway, um, but it's probably for you guys as well. This is victory after uh, going through a very difficult situation. This is also the storm is over. Now, things have definitely been unharmonious. We have a couple of sixes here. Six, six. There's no harmony. There's no peace. There's no balance. And it could be, we, it's, and it's because we have two people that are so jealous that they have been causing disharmony and unbalance. They're just so jealous of this person. They're jealous of this person's success. And they've been faking it. They've been faking their relationship. Things are about to change, though. This cycle is coming to an end. It's meant to come to an end. We have two people that aren't meant to be together. They aren't meant, they're, they're not compatible. But they've been faking it really good. But this is going to come to an end. This cycle is over. Life is a changing. It's destined to end.
So we have an ending that leads to a new beginning. This wheel is spinning. It's spinning somebody right out. Right out of one situation and right into another. I get it. It's been a bumpy road. But the obstacle is about to be removed. The lies are about to come out. This confinement that you have been in, it's over. Whoever has been confined, no more. Somebody is about to get out. They're about to. They're about to get out. And let go of the emptiness, the empty cycle that they have been in. So I see a change here. I do see a change. Somebody is going to be recognized for their hard work. They're going to be, there's a new beginning here. They're going to be starting over with a clean slate. Somebody's moving. And control is being taken away from the devil. This is the devil reverse. It's like, and God. <laughs> Good versus evil. Higher power versus evil. And no, I'm not a preacher, but I probably could be. Anyhow, um... It's like this higher power is coming in to take out this evil monster. Hallelujah. Good luck.